in Shingala's mouth. I'll do my best.
The device is off. Yeah. Oh. Is he all right? He's really exhausted. We'd better get him back to the water. What are you doing following us in your condition? Huh? I told you it was dangerous, didn't I? <laughs> what am I gonna do with you? Max, Monica, I have a favor to ask. Go to the seashore where the other Shigura are and bring back some medicine that will work on Shingala. I can't get away from here myself. Oh, oh boy. boy. Okay. But even if we do find this beach where the Shigura are, how are we going to find the medicine? It might help if we could talk to the other Shigura. Maybe we can. I got an idea. Huh? Aha! Oh yeah, Luna Lab! Yep, I bet they can knock something together that'll let us talk to the sea dragons. I bet you're right. I'm Dr. Knob. I'm the head researcher here. But you're a... I know what you're thinking. What's a kid doing in a place like this, right? Yeah, how come? 
You shouldn't judge a book by its cover. This lab relies on sheer ability. The more brains you have, the higher your position. It's only natural. So that means you're the smartest person here then? I guess you could say that. By the way, I know about you folks recovering the origin points Griffin destroyed. And now you're on the quest to restore the world. I just had the computer run an analysis. I even know what you're searching for. What? Really? A device to talk to sea dragons, right? Huh? Don't you want to go 10,000 years in the past? Oh, well that too. But first we need a machine to let us talk to those sea dragons. A Shigura translation device. We already have one of those. There's one already? Yes, Shigura are very important creatures to us here at the lab. Once a year they come from the South Island to the shore here. When they do, they bring a stone called the Luna Stone with them. That stone has the mysterious ability to rapidly increase human brain power. Thanks to the Luna Stone, this lab is home to the world's best thinkers. So it's vital that we be able to communicate with the Shigura too. And that's why we've already developed the Shigura translation device. Hey, you! Yes, sir? Go get me the shell talkie. Yes, sir. Thanks. Here you go. So we can talk to the sea dragons with this? Well, sort of. You'll only be able to understand Shigura with a comparatively high level of intelligence. Not Shigura children, for example. I guess that means a chat with Shingala is out. Thanks, Dr. Knob. We'll be back. See you then.
What comes after the fishing contest? The finny frenzy. Finny frenzy? That's right. Contestants race their fish of choice to see which one is the fastest. Great idea, Mayor. You outdid yourself this year. <laughs>
Shigura Village. It sure looks like it. Which Shigura should we try and talk with? Who knows? Let's try the... Is it you? Well, actually, we have a favor to ask. A favor? What is it? There's an injured Shigura on the far shore. Human medicine isn't doing any good, so we need some Shigura medicine. A Shigura? Hmm. Then it... I think so. I must be getting old if I can't even keep my own tribe together. All right, take this then. Shigura's injuries. Care for him well. Thank you, Elder. Come on, let's hurry back to Powell's place. Sure thing! Towards 
Shigura village! Don't tell me they're going to attack! I'm sure they will! Let's get to the village, fast! What? What's going on? You and Shingala go back to your place! We'll defend Shigura village! Huh? What? Just do it! You don't want Shingala to get hurt again, do you? <sighs> okay... Let's go, Monica! Right! Shigura doing? Look! They've got the same devices on as Shingala did! They're being controlled! That Gaspard! He doesn't stop at anything! <laughs> How do you like my new invention, the marionette? Now the Shigura are under my complete control! So you're the one that put that thing on Shingala! Huh? Oh! You mean that Shigura calf? Why, yes, that was my work as well. I had quite a lot of fun with that one. <laughs> you won't get away with this! Why, you little loudmouth! Just what do you plan to do, eh? I think I'll just have my Shigura toy with you for a while. You actually beat me!
Thank you for saving us. Who were those people? They're the dark forces sent by Emperor Griffin. Emperor Griffin? That's right. He and his henchmen are trying to undo history. I don't know what he's after exactly. But I do know that if we don't stop him, our world may be destroyed. Hmm. I see. I had no idea. I truly must be getting old. I should have known what was going on in the world. My days as the elder of this tribe are coming to an end. Max! Monica! Hey, it's Pow! You are the one who rescued our stray tribe member? Oh, no, it's nothing, really. So, it was you, was it? This child's mother was lost on this trip. Even for the Shigura, an expedition of this kind is never easy. It's a long journey, and we lose many along the way. Sadly, this child's mother was one of them. With his mother gone, I am sure he thought of you as his own parent. Oh. I don't know how to thank you. This child will grow up to be a fine Shigura, thanks to your kindness. Aww, oh, stop it, Shingala. Our tribe must return south now. So this is goodbye. We must part. For now, thank you for all you have done. May you have good fortune in your travels. Farewell, all of you. Self Shingala. Hey, it's hard for me to say goodbye too, you know. Go on, off you go. Shingala, after seeing the kindness of humans, set out on his own journey across the wide seas. Every year from that day, Shingala continued to bring Luna Stones to this shore, and when he did, he always looked for Pau. Shingala never for a moment forgot the special days that he spent with Pau. And then, 20 years later, Thanks to the biggest load of Luna Stones ever, brought by the new Shigura elder, Shingala, the world's premier research center, the Lunatic Wisdom Laboratory was finally completed.
You came at a good time. I've just... Take a look. What's that? It's a Nova Cannon. It's a weapon that uses the sun's energy to... Attach this to your ride pod, and then you'll have nothing... <laughs> All right! Thanks, Doctor. No problem. The great this is the central lab, the biggest research room of them all. Hey, I bet they can make something to send us back ten thousand. I bet you you're right. Thanks to you, the lab's been completely restored to its former state. I really appreciate it. Now let me explain my plan for getting you to Griffin 10,000 years in the past. Really? Sure, there's nothing this Luna Lab can't... Oh, wow! Ixion, a time-traveling locomotive. A fantastic non-stop express that can cross both time and... When this is finished, you'll be able to travel 10,000 years into the past. Amazing! How much longer... Let's see. Let me check. Dr. Jammy. Jamming? What? Now hold on a minute. This is not the same jamming that attacked you. Well, not exactly the same anyway. He happens to be his grandson. Dr. Jamming's... I'm terribly sorry. It seems my grand... Please accept my apology. However, without my grandfather's research, I would have never... My grandfather was researching technology that would allow objects to float on the air using sound. He called this his aeroharmonics flying technology. However, he came to a dead end in his research and became desperate. That's when Gaspard persuaded my grandfather into becoming one of Griffin's servants. But when he lost that battle to you two, he had a change of heart. He rededicated himself to his research and was able to perfect his air... He perfected Arrowheart. Many flying vehicles were developed after that, based on his tech... Of course, the Ixion here takes advantage of the same technology, and by combining it with the space-time control panel I developed, my grandfather has passed away, but before he died, he told me I should use his research for something good. I try to carry on his wishes, and I think that by continuing his research, this world can truly be saved. Dr. Jamie, he was quite a guy. Yes, and you helped him become the man he was. Well, I wouldn't necessarily say... But that's strange. In the history I know, aeroharmonics techno... Our travels must be creating a new history for the... Well, I'm still getting the hang of this, but I'm thinking that maybe history as you know it is... Huh? As well as fixing the flow of time that Griffin has disrupted, we've also been able to add new flows to it. And though these have been different from the original flows, 
Maybe they're meant to be the real world history. Ultimately, you could say that even Griffin himself is playing a necessary part in creating a new, complete history. Griffin? Necessary? You can't be serious! Well, why not? Doctor, something terrible's happened! The rebel forces in the West are coming under attack from Griffin! What? Attacked? Huh? Elena, your name, mother. Just who is my mother? And why isn't she with us? Even my own father wouldn't answer my questions. Now I realize that father hoped I would find out those answers for myself. Doctor, this is Elena. We're fighting Griffin's main army over here. If it carries on like this, Griffin will probably attack the Luna Lab. Mother? Is that... Is that Max? Yes. You mean this boy is Elena's... That's right. Max is Elena's... Max, I'm sorry. I'll bet your father never told you what happened to me. That's right. But... Max... We live in different worlds. What? It's all right, Max. I'll explain everything. I'll tell you why I couldn't go on living with you. But to explain that, I need to explain what's going on. What do you mean by that? I'm from the future, just like Monica. Our time has changed greatly because of the devastation caused by Emperor. We couldn't let Griffin get away with... So the people of our time formed a rebel... But Griffin began to use the power of the stone. One of the fabled Atlamilia stones that possess great powers. Powers that can... Griffin harnessed that power to rewrite history bit by bit. Atlamilia are strange jewels. Legend has it that Atlamilia will only choose for... We don't know how Griffin has managed to get his hands on one of the Atlamilia. But the fact is, he can use the power of that stone. And for us to be able to fight him, we needed one too. Three Atlamilia exist in the world. The first is the Sunstone, which Griffin possessed. The other two are the Moonstone, which emits a blue light. And the Griffin tried to increase his powers by gaining possession. So he searched for the remaining two stones. First, we traced... That was Monica's father, King Raybrandt. At first we thought we could inherit the Atlamilia from King Raybrandt to help us in our... But the stone wouldn't accept any one among us as it... And so, in the end, we were unable to get the stone. We guarded King Raybrandt so that the stone would not fall into Griffin's hand. We decided to protect the person that the stone had chosen from the... But Griffin was devious and he assassinated King Raybrandt. Griffin didn't get his hands on the stone, though. The stone refused to become Griffin's and instead chose King Raybrand's daughter. That's how the second stone came to be. And so we looked for the last remaining Atlamilia, but we couldn't find it. Because according to the prophecy of the great sage, Crest, the Earth, its owner, was a young boy. We knew that Griffin would use his powers to travel through time and go back to... in order to protect the red Atlamilia. And I made it my job to protect him. But during the time I was with Gerald, and then Max, you were born. But then I had to return to my own time, because I said goodbye to you and Gerald, and I, re I haven't been able to see you. My mother is... That's right, and we are the ones that were chosen by these two... But I... I was just given this stone by... No, not exactly. Your father couldn't even touch it anymore. He must have realized the stone had chosen and Gerald couldn't touch it himself, but he saw you could play with it without effect. The Atlamilia chose you as its new owner, so Gerald let you have it. I think that the Atlamilia have reasons for who they... There's probably even a reason why Grip... A reason he was chosen? That's right. Like what? That I don't know. 
But the stones are guiding people for the sake of something great. I can just feel it. I'm sorry. It looks like we haven't any more time to talk. Just wait a little longer. If we can recreate Pasnos, we'll have a chance to fight back. Recreate Pasnos? But how? Max and Monica will recreate its origin point, of course. The origin point of Pasnos is a workshop in Heimrata, a village at the foot of Mount Gondor. You'll have to head there. But Mount Gondor is a dangerous place. I'm not sure if you... We'll be fine, Elena. Just leave it to us. Don't worry, Mother. I'll save you. Just stay here. Max. Okay. Take care, both of you. You bet! Hurry now and set out for your next goal. The volcano of Mount Gundor. A huge factory, the Gundorado Workshop, will be built there in the future. That's where the Rebellion Army's ace in the hole, Pasnos, will be built. Pasnos? It was the mobile stronghold of our rebel army. Griffin wiped Pasnos out. But if we could bring it back, I bet we can make a counterattack. Then let's go to Mount Gundor! Hey, Mac! How's that bridge? We finished the repairs. Then let's head for Mount Gundor. All right!
Chapter 5, Conflict of the Past and Future What's this? It's raining embers! Something is definitely up! The village of Haim Rada should be here at the foot of Mount Gundor. But I guess it got wiped out, too. Let's keep going, then, Monica. Be careful out there, you two. There's nothing much we can do this time, so we'll just take it easy on the trip. If you need any help with anything, just let us know.
to me. Leave it to me. Leave it to me.
takes care of you guys. <laughs>